In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the four legendary Pokemon of Rune who are sealed in shrines around the Paldea region. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. The four legendary dark type Pokemon are made up of Wu Shen, the dark and grass snail looking Pokemon, Shen Pao, the ice dark saber tooth cat, Ting Lu, the ground and dark type ram bull looking Pokemon. I kind of don't know. Tell me down in the comment section what Pokemon is and Chi Yu, fire and dark type fish looking Pokemon. This legendary quest begins when you go to the academy and speak to one of the teachers. Rai Fort, who is the history teacher, will tell you about an old legend regarding the cursed treasures of the four Pokemon of Ruin. This will be on your first interaction with her around the school area. When you come back and speak with her again, she will tell you more about the legendary Pokemon and Tale of Old and tasks you with finding these legendary Pokemon. To help out, she marks these four shrines where these legendaries are located on your map. But before you go and visit each one of these shrines to try and take on these Pokemon, you have to find their respected eight sacred stakes that are keeping these Pokemon in prison. You have to essentially travel around the area, find the eight stakes. This opens the seal on the shrine and then you'll be able to battle them. To help with this guide, I've created a map with all of the stakes marked out. I will keep this on the screen throughout the video to help show you the locations of all of the stakes for each Pokemon. And I've handily colored them the correct color with what they're going to be on the areas in the map so hopefully it is some help to you before we get into finding the pokemon it is worth noting though that these legendary pokemon are shiny locked so don't when you come across them try and soft reset for them they will never be shiny unfortunately they are shiny locked so you're gonna have to just catch them in their regular forms for now so the first legendary we will go after will be ting lu the dark and ground type pokemon the main areas where the stakes for ting lu are located are in in the West Province Area 2 and 3 and Lake Asaroa with Ting Lu's shrine located in the north above this lake area. The first stake is located in the West Province area located under the rock face area. It's kind of like a cave system which is shown here on the map. The second stake is located just north of the first one on the other side of the cliff in the West Province Area 2. The third stake can be found on this small island in the middle of Lake Casaroya. And the fourth is located on the larger island in the lake shown here on the map. The fifth stake is located on the upper banks of the west side of Lake Casaroya. And the sixth stake is located to the east area shown here on the map with the eighth stake for Ting Lu being located on the west side of the outer cliff edge as you can see here of Lake Casaroya. Now once you have collected the eighth stake you'll see a message pop up on your screen saying that you heard a mysterious cry coming from the shrine. Now at this point you want to just head to the ground blight shrine which is located here like we said at the north section above the lake where the chains now have been removed and you can just click on the shrine entrance and it'll be challenging the legendary Ting Lu. Ting Lu is a ground and dark type Pokemon. Like I say, I don't really know if it's meant to be a bull or a ram or something else it's based on. But if you let me know down in the comment section, I would very much appreciate it. Next, we will locate all of the stakes for the Fire Scroud Shrine, and that is to get Chi Yu, the Dark Fire Fish Legendary Pokemon. Now, these stakes are all located in the northeast province areas of the Paldea map. First stake is located north of Lavincia City can see here. The second stake is north of the Pokemon Center in the North Province Area 1. Uh, this is by this big tree. The third blue stake is located on the mound in the west area of the North Province Area 1. And the fourth stake can be found in the Tang Tree Thicket area of the map by this tree. The fifth stake is located to the north of the Tang Tree Thicket just before you reach the Glacado Mountains. And the sixth stake can be found right next to the Fire Squad Shrine on this ledge in the North Province area too. The seventh stake can be found in this far northeastern area of the map near this elevated area of the water's edge. And the eighth stake can be found north of Zapico on the edge of the Glacado Mountain. 
Again, now, once you've found all eight of these stakes, you can head directly to the shrine, which is located in the North Province area in this cave above the waterfall. The changes will be removed as you've got all eight stakes, and now you'll be able to challenge Dark Fish Legendary Chi Wu, which is actually one of my favorites out of all the legendaries. So I do really like the look of it, and it's typing Dark and Fire is very cool, um, similar to Incineroar from Generation 7. Okay, with Chi Wu and Ting Lu already done, we can move on to the next legendary. And the next one we're gonna go for Wu Shen. Uh, this is in the south area of the Paldea map, primarily in the south province area one, three, and five, I think the areas that these stakes cover. Now the first stake will be located near the lighthouse on the cliff south of Los Platos. So but very near the beginning of your game, you're gonna to have to jump up to the upper areas to get this one. The second stake can be found in the central area of the South Province Area 5, near this boulder located here on the map. Third stake is located in the southern area of the South Province Area 1, on the edge of the open Greenland area near a cliff's edge. The fourth stake can be found over the bridge in the South Province Area 3, the fifth stake can be located further north in this area on top of this kind of rock face area we are on now. And the sixth stake can be found on the very edge of this rocky terrain before the East Province Area 1 begins. The seventh stake is located to the Artisan Pokemon Center as shown here on the map. And the eighth stake can be found to the north of Los Patos on the upper mound shown here with the eighth stake found. And with the 8th stake found for this one, you can now head again to the shrine. This shrine is called the Grass Wither Shrine, located in the southern area of South Province Area 5. And this is where you'll be able to take on Wu Shen, the Grass and Dark Snail Pokemon. And I believe this is the first snail Pokemon that we've got in these games. So it is a legendary. It looks kind of cool that it is a legendary and it's a snail type. Dark Grass as well is a nice typing. I do like it. So very cool Pokemon. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of Wu Shen and if you have managed to get it in game yet. Now the final legendary is the Ice and Dark Pokemon. Shen Pao, I think a lot of players favorite out of all four of them. And the majority of the stakes for this shrine can be found in the southwest area of the Paldea map in the area South Province Area 6 and primarily West Province Area 1. Now the first stake is located north of Alfernado Town on the upper area of this mound here. The second stake is located in this cave system in the South Province Area 6. Head inside this cave area. This is where you can find Gibble as well. So Gibble can be found in here and you will find this stake on the upper ridge areas within this cave system. The third stake can be found on the hillside in the Western Province Area 1. And the fourth stake is located on top of this ridge south of the Ice Wren Shrine, which is the shrine that we'll be going back to at the end of this once we've got all eight stakes. The fifth stake can be located on the upper mounds near the ruins in the West Province Area 1. So there'll be ruins down in the kind of plain areas. If you just come up onto the ridge, as we are here located on the map, you'll be able to pick the next stake. The sixth stake is located in Cascarafa town in the south area of the town and it is located behind a large tree on this kind of open Greenland area. The seventh stake is located north of the Pokemon League in the West Province Area 1 as shown on the map here. And then the final stake is a little bit tricky to find. It is on the top of this kind of waterfall area and you'll be able to locate it on the edge of this cliff. And this is in the South Province Area 6. Now again, we've collected all eight stakes and we can go and get the final legendary at the Ice Wren Shrine to take on Shen Pao, the final ice and dark type legendary. And I do think this is probably the coolest legendary out of all of them. I really like the look of this. The design for it's really great. And um, I think this one's probably something that will be quite strong competitively as well, especially with terrestrialization, you can get rid of the ice type and if you want, which is maybe sometimes a little bit of a drawback, but great Pokemon. And that is that we are able to wrap it up and catch all four legendaries without the use of a master ball as well. So they weren't too difficult to catch all four of them. I kind of just use a combination of master balls and other balls. Um, but as you can see, 
these are the four legendaries that you're going to have access to in the game and i hope this guide was useful in helping you find locate the stakes around the area and get to the shrines to catch these pokemon if it has been useful friends please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet videos and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye